If you're looking to escape the crowds, there's one ski resort you have to check out. Welcome to Angel Fire, New Mexico. It's day two and we're on the beginner lift. I took some lessons yesterday and I am the sorest I have ever been. We are starting back on the beginner lift today and hopefully retaining some of what we learned yesterday. There's like no one here. We're here on Tuesday and it's like empty, like no lines. It's amazing. We just came up lift two and then we are gonna be doing bridge run and high road, which are two green trails. If you're a beginner skier or a first timer like me, I definitely recommend taking lessons. The lesson I took was all day and our instructor did take us on this run. So by the end of the first day, I felt really comfortable on it. Something else I'd like to mention, we were here during the week, so the crowds were pretty much non-existent. If you do happen to come on a weekend though, you can definitely check out the night skiing. Angel Fire is the only resort in New Mexico that offers night skiing. <laughs> Rather than staying at the ski resort, we opted for an Airbnb, mainly because we were bringing our dog Kalua and we wanted to make sure she had plenty of space to run around. Between the seclusion, the ski in, ski out opportunities, and the hot tub, I'd highly recommend renting a cabin rather than staying at the resort while you're here. While I really loved Angel Fire, there's not much nightlife or a ton of restaurants, which would be my primary reason for wanting to stay on or near a resort. The next morning we took it nice and easy, preparing coffee and watching the wildlife outside the kitchen window. It's our first time on the Chili Express. This is like the only lift that actually has a lap bar and it's also way faster than the other lifts. The Chili Express takes you to the very top of the summit at an elevation of 10,677 feet. There's a restaurant at the summit called Summit House and you can hang out on the deck and watch people in the skills park. You can also go inside, cozy up and have a beer if you like. We came up here several times so we could do the heading home run. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This run goes from the top of the summit down all the way to the base. It's a 3.5 mile run with a vertical change of 2,000 feet, complete with some incredible views of the valley below. You might also notice the weather looks significantly different in these clips. We did this run a couple times, so I did pick out the best one to show you guys.
If skiing isn't your thing or your legs just need a break, there's plenty of other snow activities to enjoy here. We spent an afternoon sledding, walking through the snow, and getting some much needed relaxation in the hot tub. <laughs> And a word of warning if you plan on staying in a mountain cabin, definitely make sure you have all wheel drive or four wheel drive. The roads were a combination of snowy, icy, and even muddy on the sunnier days while we were here. So I was very thankful that we even made it up and down the mountain with no issues besides a very muddy truck. An extra perk of a mountain cabin is gonna be the ski in, ski out opportunities. We utilized this while we were here and then we even just played around in the driveway. This was super fun considering we are first timers and so this gave us a lot of good time to get some practice in. We're all packed up this morning and getting ready to head back to Texas. It's snowing right now and it is so freaking pretty. We're about to go get coffee and breakfast before starting our road trip. I hope this video was helpful to you if you're planning your own trip to Angel Fire. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.